Hey, how's it going? All right, guys. Let's talk about why the Nomadic Peter McKinnon Everyday Bag is the best camera bag that you'll ever own. Okay, so let's just dive right in. It's a great looking bag. We could sit here oohing and on over it forever, but let's talk about the features that truly make this bag great. It's build quality, it's versatility, customization, and just comfort while wearing it. I've never had a camera bag that was more comfortable while wearing than this bag, and I have this thing loaded. So to start off, let's just take a look at the back real quick. These shoulder straps are very padded, very comfortable to wear. The back itself, is very comfortable it's rigid it allows it to breathe i've never had my back get all sweaty while wearing this thing for several hours here in arizona and then a nice little touch is obviously the pete's private life emblem but very comfortable very comfortable backing and if we take a look at the side here right behind the backing is space big enough for a 15 inch macbook pro or any other laptop of similar size and that slides in and fits very nicely and I gotta tell you, these zippers are like butter. They're very smooth, opening and closing. Got a nice bit of twine here to grab with the metal sleeve with the Pete's Power Life logo on it. It's a nice touch. A lot of attention to detail went into making this bag. All right, spin this thing around. Something you'll notice is that it's standing up on its own. That's one of those small features that is really a big feature when you really think about it. I can't tell you how many times I've been at the airport and had to keep my old camera bag leaning up against my leg or leaning up against something because it would just fall over when I set it down or I have to just lay it on its back and it's taking up more space. The Peter McKinnon everyday bag, stand us on its own. Great feature, again, seems small, but it's really a big thing when you think about it and when you're using it, you realize how much you appreciate it. Let's take a look at this side right here. We got these little straps here where you can hook on clips, straps, bungee straps. If you're an FPV guy, you can strap your FPV drones here to the back. I gotta tell you the one beef I have with Nomadic, the one beef. I gotta tell you, is the fact that it doesn't come with these straps. You spend good money on this bag. I mean, this bag's not cheap. For the money you spent on this bag, they couldn't throw in these two straps. I mean, come on, you need a strap here on the side, obviously to strap your tripod uh, on the back here to strap whatever you want. You have another pocket on this side. The fact that it didn't come with these straps just drives me nuts. I don't get it. I mean, they were like another 25 bucks on the website, I think, but still. I even emailed Nomadic and said, dude, where's my straps? I thought this thing came with the straps. And they're like, no, it's a separate accessory. So I feel like you guys dropped the ball on that one thing. Otherwise, the bag's great. The side pockets are magnetic closing, so they stretch out really well. I could fit a really good size Yeti or Hydroflax there. There's one on each side. And as well, you can use the straps on the side to clip in and hold in your tripod. No, nope, separate accessory. Separate accessory. And then lastly, you got a nice hefty handle here at the top. So you're, when you're carrying it, it's got a nice solid grip. I mean, everything on the outside of this thing, the build quality is really nice. The other thing is the zippers have a nice weather seal on the outside. These little rubber sleeves close nice and tight when you open and then close the zipper. Um, I feel very confident that no moisture or waters could get in here if I'm out in the rain and a downpour. The quality is just great. So that's pretty much the outside. All right, so I'm gonna lay this thing down. Let's take a look at the inside, shall we? The zippers again are just buttery smooth. Open her up. So what I'm gonna do is give you a quick view of the inside, give you a little peek of how I have this thing arranged. Obviously I got a big void here because that's where I keep my Canon R5 with the 24 to 70. That's on a tripod recording this video. So that's why there's a void here and there's not a camera body there. But I actually put the camera on its side with the grip sticking up. This thing closes just fine and I don't feel it in my back with the camera inside the bag at that orientation and it makes it really nice to just grab that grip and then pull it out and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this back down so we're gonna kinda dive in into the details of what I actually have in the bag. I'm gonna show you how much you can actually fit in this thing 
if you use the space wisely. Now you have a few different options when you purchase this bag online. They have a cubing system and you can take cubes out, put cubes in, whatever you want to do and make it modular and very customizable to yourself. I however chose to go with the single large cube because with the dividers I felt like I would be able to take the most advantage of the real estate in this bag. Um, after watching other videos online and looking at the website, I just felt like this gave me the most use of space for this large center section. Again, with the void in the middle here is my Canon R5 with the 24 to 70 because I just feel like that lens is the most versatile lens. Um, it's my favorite lens. And then obviously right below that, got to carry the 70 to 200. I never leave home without this lens. This is, lens is amazing. Uh, between these two lenses, I feel like I can get the most done. Right below that, I got the Nomadic battery case right there, and I even put my own sticker on there, so yeah, I covered up the logo that was on there, sue me, but either way, I like to be able to keep my extra batteries in there as well, have my battery in the body, so four total. I never felt like I needed four when I'm out just kind of doing a shoot for several hours, really, but just in case, I do have a charger here in this upper zipper pocket, and we'll go through that in a bit. So put that case back there, put the 70 to 200 on top of it, so stacking is really great. The depth of this bag make, gives you that ability, which is really awesome. We move from the bottom, I'm gonna go to this top compartment where I have my drone. Obviously this is the Mini 3 Pro. I really feel like DJI hit it out of the park with this drone. It is the best dollar for dollar value drone that DJI has ever released, or any drone on the market today, I feel, and that's my humble opinion. It's an amazing drone small so it takes up very little space in my bag i used to jam my mavic 2 pro in the top loft of this thing it just drove me nuts because it just added so much weight and took up so much space so mavic 3 pro obviously below that check it out i'm stacking things right two spare batteries for the mini 3 pro right there beside the drone i've got my rode video micro so again it's a smaller boom mic because it takes up less space I don't want to have a big mic that's taking up a whole section. I don't want to have a big drone that's taking up a whole section. Going small, right? Being ready for anything. That's the purpose for me personally of this bag. I do have hard cases for other things if I'm going out for a specific purpose, but just to be ready for anything, this is my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those batteries back in there, put the mic in, put the drone. They're stacked. They're all fitting in that top compartment. Easy peasy. Be beside the drone, got the new RC with the built-in screen. I mean, between this controller and the Mini 3 Pro, it's just the value you're getting for the money is just amazing. I can't talk it up enough. And then in that same pocket, I keep my Polar Pro ND filters for the Mini 3 Pro. Kind of just goes in that little space just like that and I'm able to slide it into that same compartment. Fits nicely. Bottom corner compartment, I've got the Nomadic memory card case. Again, slap my own sticker and logo on that. And then in the same compartment right here, I got these two extra batteries. We'll talk about this later and then they go right back in that compartment with the memory card case. Okay, so that's essentially this whole middle section, the main center compartment. Above that is what they call the loft, which we'll talk about that a little later. But between the loft and this main section, I've got this little slither of space where I keep my ND filters for my Canon lenses. And then that same slither of space here, I've got a power bank. This is the Anchor Power Slim 20K. So that's 20,000 milliamps. It's an amazing power bank. I can, make it a I can make an entirely separate video on this thing alone. Like in all honesty, this thing is just absolutely amazing. So now moving on to the back cover. This is the part that opens. You got two separate zipping compartments. Again, those zippers are really smooth. I've got a charger for my Canon batteries. Put that back here. And as well in this compartment, I got some cables. I got my mic cable there for the little road micro and got some other cables here got a USB-C USB-C I have a lightning to USB-C I've got a lightning to USB and I've got a USB to USB-C so with those four cables I'm ready for about anything when it comes to the camera the drones whatever I gotta do slide those back this one back in there too in the same compartment I've got this thin little power supply this is actually a Bose power supply I like it because it's nice and slim and the prongs just flop out like that, just like that. So being nice and slim, doesn't take up a lot of space in the bag. It fits in here really easily. All right, in this top zipper compartment here, I have these little tin containers. I actually got these things on Amazon. I'll put a link below. But in this one, for example, I keep all my little tools and spare props for the Mini 3. And the other ones, I got just other little miscellaneous items, extra joysticks for RC. As well, I got this little first aid kit that I made. It's just got some Tylenol, some uh, Tums, 
uh, sanitary wipes, band-aids, Q-tips, Neosporin. So that's pretty cool. So you just get these tins on, on Amazon and then just make your own stuff. They slip it in here really slim. Close that up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing up. All right, so let's talk about the loft here now, but let's kind of recap first on um, all the things that we've already fit in this bag so far. We have a 15 inch MacBook Pro, a camera body with a lens. We have an additional lens. We have a drone with an RC, with battery cases, with a memory card case, with a small boom mic. I mean, we're fitting a lot inside this thing already and we haven't even gotten into this top 30% of the bag. So again, with these awesome zippers. Avada. So we've got a camera body, two lenses, a drone, as well as an additional drone here that's more of a cine whoop for a totally different type of shooting in the top compartment of this bag. When you're out shooting, you're ready for about anything. Well, I'm ready for about anything in that case. So got the Avada fits right here, and it's not even the motion controller. I have the FPV RC version two in this thing, with the obviously the version 2 goggles that come with the Avada in this top compartment got the cables got the battery power supply for the goggles as well as ND filters for the Avada so I mean you really gotta think about it you're really fitting a lot inside of this bag and you're ready for just about anything this type of setup and obviously you can customize this bag the inner compartment with the cubes and make it your own if you're not a FPV or Cinewhoop guy Hey, you got plenty of space for your GoPro and your action cameras. This bag truly offers the ability to customize it and make it your own and really personalize it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you found the information valuable, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Just click the subscription button down below. Side is that on? It's like looking in a mirror on my monitor here. That side, there you go. Please like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks guys, now get out there, go create something, have a good one. See ya. A variety of different cables that I may need in any given circumstance. Um, that came undone.